how to install Ubuntu and AMD GPU Pro drivers. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Ubuntu.com and download Ubuntu for desktops. You can take a quick look on the page to see what you're getting. So I'm going to click on download Ubuntu. It'll take me to the download page. I'm going to want to download 16.04.1 because it's a long-term support release, which means you can update it for the next five years. So I'm going to click on download there, which will take me to another page where I can give a donation if I want to or just slide all the sliders to zero and then it'll let you download it for free. So download that and get that onto your computer. You're going to need that very soon. The next thing you're going to want to download is Universal USB Installer by Pendrive Linux. So you can go to pendrivelinux.com and download that. Once you've got that downloaded, you're going to want to create the partition for installing Ubuntu. You can do this to your Windows partition. I'm going to change this mining partition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to type in the amount that I want to shrink out of it. I'm going to take 40 gigabytes out of it. You can probably take less. You can probably take 30 even 25 or 20 is probably fine. But I'm going to make a larger installation here. I'll take 40 out. Now I've got my unallocated partition space here. So I'm going to create a new simple volume, a new partition. I'm going to use just over 30 gigabytes, 32,000 megabytes. I'm going to select do not assign a drive letter because I don't need to use it in Windows. I'll type in a name, I'll type in Ubuntu. You probably don't have to do that, but I'll do that just for the fun of it. And next and finish. Now that's created. It's formatting it. That's done. I've got my Ubuntu partition. Now the next one I'm going to create will be a swap partition for Ubuntu. I'm going to leave that at 8,000, about 8 gigabytes. Do not assign a drive letter again. And you can type in whatever you want here. I'll type in swap. Then I'll click next, finish. That'll format that. Now my drive space is ready to go. I can start to install Ubuntu once I've created the USB stick. Creating the USB stick is the next step. So open Universal USB Installer, run it. And then at step one, you're going to want to select Ubuntu. For step two, you're going to want to browse to your Ubuntu ISO that you downloaded. And next, you're going to want to select your USB. So pick the USB that you want to put it on, click Format, and then click on Create. This will create your bootable USB that you can install Ubuntu with. Once this is done, we can close it and restart the computer with the USB in the USB port on your motherboard. Now when your computer is starting up, you're going to want to make sure you hit the key to get the boot device selector. Select UEFI your flash drive, your USB drive, if you have a UEFI motherboard, which I'm sure most of you do. Once you get to the next screen, you're going to want to select Install Ubuntu. You can select Try Ubuntu, and then you can install it from that screen after checking it out. But we'll just go straight to Install Ubuntu. Once Ubuntu boots up, once the installer boots up, we're greeted with the welcome screen. So you can select the language you want, and then click Continue. I'm just going to click Continue here. I'm not going to install any updates. I'm not going to install any third-party software. I'm going to click on something else for the installation type and click Continue. This brings me to the Partitioner. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find my partitions that I want to install Ubuntu on. I'll click on the first one and click Change. I'm going to select Extension for File System. Mount Point will be backslash for root. And I'll click OK. It'll automatically format it. The next one, I'm going to click on my swap partition. I'm going to select swap area for this one, then click OK. The next thing you want to make sure is that your bootloader installation is set to SDA if you have your EFI partition on SDA. So I'm going to select SDA here. If it's a different disk, select that disk. Then click install now and continue. Select the country you're from, and you're going to want to select uh, the nearest area to you so that you can install updates and stuff from the closest server. Pick the keyboard layout you want, click continue. Now type in your name, your computer name, 
your username. You can pick a different username if you want. I'm going to use the same username as my name. And then type in a password. Now you can choose to encrypt your home folder and require a password to log in or just log in automatically. For ease of use for this tutorial and for future tutorials, I'm just going to use login automatically, but you can pick encrypt my home folder. It's a little bit safer. So do that and then click continue. Now it will install. You just have to wait a little bit. It should take 5 to 10 minutes depending on how quick your computer is. It really doesn't take long. It's faster than a Windows installation. I am fast forwarding here so it's going to go a little bit quicker than it would go normally. Now you can click restart now and it will restart your computer. You'll be greeted with this boot screen so select Ubuntu and then hit enter. Once we get into Ubuntu, we can start to install our AMD Pro GPU drivers. We can go to the support.amd.com page in order to download our drivers. I'll put the links in the description so you can go straight there from the links. You want to click on AMD GPU Pro driver version 16.4. 16.3 works fine too. So I'll click OK and download that. I click cancel because I already have it. The next thing you're going to want to download in advance is the AMD APP SDK. I'll put this link in the description also. So you're going to want to make sure you have the 64-bit version. There's a 32-bit version, 64-bit version. We've installed 64-bit uh, Ubuntu, so we're going to want the 64-bit version of this. So click on that. It will take you to the license agreement page, which you can accept. So click I accept. This will allow you to download it, save the file. I'll just cancel it because I already have it. So I'll close this, close that, and close this. Go back to our installation instructions. Now I need to extract the AMD GPU driver. So I'm going to open the containing folder here, go to my downloads. And I will extract this. Okay, so now we've extracted it, we need to install it. I'm going to copy the install installation command here. I'm going to open a terminal from the folder and then paste in the command here. I'll hit enter, type in my password, hit enter. I'm going to type in Y for yes. Now again, I'm fast forwarding here, so this might take you longer. It all depends on your internet connection. It might not take as long. This will install AMD GPU Pro. Now that's done. Now we can add ourselves to the video group. So I'm going to copy the next command, sudo g password. I'm going to paste this into the terminal, hit enter. Now I'm added to the group so I can restart my computer and then install the AMD APP SDK. Now I'm back. I've put it back into Ubuntu. I will install AMD APP SDK. I'll extract the file first. Then I'm going to install it. So I'll copy the installation command. done extracting, I'll open a terminal from the downloads folder and paste in the command and hit enter. Type in my password, hit enter. 
hold down enter so it scrolls down the agreement. Once it gets to the bottom, you can type Y and hit enter. Y, enter. I'll just hit enter to choose the default directory. And be patient, wait, it will install. Once it's done installing. So I hope you like this video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.